looking at a pretty fantastic weekend. I get to bring some good news here, filling in for this weekend, and I have lots of sunshine in the forecast. Temperatures are going to be warmer for the first half of the week. Then we return to fall into the second half of the week, but currently things are pretty quiet. Let's talk about the last seven days and where those temperatures have been. You can see the normal highs for this stretch of days to October 12th through the 18th. Uh, 64 to dropping to 61 degrees. So a few of those above, a few of those below, and those low temperatures, um, most of them have been below the normal, getting down into the lower 30s. Now the next seven days, yeah, you could see those mid-70s showing up in here. Nice weather, comfortable. You'll be able to crack the windows, get a little fresh air in early this week. Big drop comes Wednesday into Thursday with a cold front that will pass Wednesday night. That's our next chance for any precipitation. Those low temperatures, they'll drop toward the end of the week. So your Friday morning commute looks like the coldest of the week ahead. We will see uh, those temperatures, though, generally above what is the normal for this time of year through the next uh, for the early part of the week there as we're looking now for the next uh, 8 to 14 day outlook. This is for the dates October 27 through November 2nd. This pattern that we're stuck in with a large dome of high pressure keeping things dry and sunny. It does look like it's going to carry over into the latter part of the month as things stand right now. The uh, statistical average there is leaning toward warmer than normal temperatures overall for much of the eastern U.S. So uh, not a whole lot of fall as it looks as we go into the second part of October and head into the start of November, but that's something we'll have to keep an eye on. Of course, we're getting to that time of year where some of those cold snaps could start getting a little more intense. Right now, it's a chilly morning. We're seeing low 30s on the map. We'll climb quickly. High pressure keeping things dry and sunny for the eastern U.S., including here at home. The next seven days, abundant sunshine into the start of the week. Things start to cloud up a bit midweek in the latter part. So on Future Tracker, yeah, no concerns for today. By noon, we should be flirting with 60 degrees. Afternoon highs, I think you add a few here, flirting with 70 for tonight. Dry conditions. If you're heading out to downtown Youngstown for those festivities, take the jackets and the hoodies. If you go when it's daylight out, you may still uh, feel a little warm that you don't need those, but into the latter part of the day, those temps turn crisp and cool. By tomorrow morning, I think we'll see a few more 30s on this map compared to what it's showing, but Sunday will be another dry and sunny day. So 69 degrees, the high today. Plenty of sunshine tonight down to 38, and there could be some pockets of patchy frost low-lying areas primarily. Not as big of a threat for widespread frost or freeze conditions tonight compared to the last several. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, dry conditions, warm temperatures. We're talking mid-70s Tuesday. It would not surprise me to see some spots uh, flirting with upper 70s on Tuesday. A warm day there. We'll start to see temps coming down Wednesday as a cold front approaches later in the day. Showers become likely. Temps drop substantially for Thursday. We'll look for some lake effect rain around and could be a few raindrops left over to wrap up the week.